really interesting unit because it had been sitting for so long 30 years just about oh yeah look at the dust coming down that's that's real that's not special effects it's not cgi look at the amount of dust on this guys look at that whoa now this guy was into music we can kind of figure that at this point oh zz top nice it always feels like somebody's watching me let's see what this is for oh oh what's this this is way more interesting okay we got some trains okay wait this might be worth something right here look at this okay what oh what this is not a fake Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. What's this? Oh, dang. But this. Got a couple jewelry boxes here. I have not looked in this, guys, okay? Let's do it together. What's up, Locker Nuts? Locker time. All right, we're back at this unit. We bought this recently, Jan and I, at the live auction for just one dollar. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch that video. I'll put a link up here or over here somewhere. Uh, go back and watch that, okay? Really interesting unit because it had been sitting for so long, 30 years just about. So a lot of dust, a lot of cobwebs kind of disrupted that last time. So there's not so many this time. Let me open it and show you what we got. You guys ready to see it? You excited? I'm excited. It's locker time. Yeah, look at the dust coming down. That's that's real. That's not special effects. It's not CGI. That's a real authentic dust right there. All right. So yeah, there's a lot less stuff here than before because I came here earlier today to grab a dump load that went on my truck right here and went off to the dump. That already happened. Let me show you what it looked like right before that. Uh, as you can see, yeah. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm just going to grab some of the garbage, the stuff we already went through, like this, for example, like the books, uh, maybe these computer disks, definitely this. I'm just going to grab some garbage out. I'll start digging in a second. I just want to show you what it looked like, how we left it last time. All right, guys, so I took a lot of it to the dump. I didn't take these disks. I think one of them fell over, spilled out. I took those. But these ones, this one, I, I was maybe going to take this to the dump, and then I saw some stuff in here that I thought maybe, maybe there's some collectability here. Maybe I shouldn't rush that to be tossed away. Um, I don't know. I'll bring it to the market, and we'll see if anybody's going to be interested in this stuff. I didn't see any, like, game titles or anything. You know, we bought the train locker. There's a lot of floppy disks that had Apple programs on it, a lot of games and stuff, so. There's some value there in here, not so much. See a little bit of copper here. I've been pulling that out of these track lighting. So the copper right there is worth some money to, to uh, recycle. So um, yeah, I took a lot of stuff out. You see the back's empty. There's some big desks, park board, old desks over here. We're off of the, you, know, you saw the picture. I don't even tell you what was in there. It's gone. That's what matters. That's what matters. And so far, I've not seen any Black Widows. And I'm very thankful for that because I know they're in here. These webs and stuff, this looks like Black Widow webs to me. We have Black Widows around here. So those are the only spiders we really got to be careful about. But uh, I'll put gloves on. If you didn't see the last video and you're wondering why didn't somebody else buy this for a dollar, because obviously we got some cool stuff already, like some antique furniture and this uh, grinding wheel, right? That's a neat piece. And I think that's going to be at least 100 bucks at the market. We'll see. We'll see. But the reason nobody else did, and there were other people there, it's because of this. This is a piano, guys. It's a piano. It looks like an oldie. Maybe a baby grand or something. Those are unbelievably hard to move. They are very heavy. Heavier than they look. But anyways, I, I still got to figure that out. I got to get this stuff out of here. So, <laughs> all right. One thing we definitely already showed were the records that we found in here. Again, if you didn't see the last video, um, we opened only one of these boxes, but we got all these boxes, right? So right now I'm going to go through them and see if they are all the same record, which I kind of hope they aren't. But this is a uh, AIDS record, right? It's so funny. It's, it's commissioned by the Chicago Department of Health. So there is some collectability here, even though it's like a kind of like a health awareness, you know, of the AIDS virus, 1989. We already sold one of these. I listed one and I sold it for 50 bucks. So kind of happy about that. But there's some money here for sure. This is an album that really doesn't exist in the wild. And we've got it. We've got maybe a lot of it. Let me crack some of these boxes open and see if this is all the same. Okay, that's the same. 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 Okay, so far, all of them have been the same. This one, ah, that looks a little different. And this one's been retaped here. Finally got something a little bit 
More variety. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what we got. Floyd Kramer, huh? Phil Collins, that's cool. You know what? That is Phil Collins, and that is in beautiful condition. At least the, the sleeve is. Um, oh, how cool. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to open it with gloves right now. I guess I could take my gloves off. My goodness, these are in nice shape. <laughs> this is in really nice shape. Really, really, really nice shape. Now, this guy was into music. We can kind of figure that at this point. That is a little dusty, but I do not see any scratches. Wish it wasn't so dusty. It's not too dusty, it's just a little dusty. No scratches. Really good sign. Manfred Mann's Earth Band, don't know it. Kenny Rogers, nice. Herb Alpert, Doobie Brothers. Rick Foster, Herb Alpert. Leslie Gore. Ooh, ZZ Top, nice. What's this? What is this? Sticks, woohoo! That's pretty sweet. I bet you that's supposed to go inside the record. I have to find the Sticks album. ZZ Top's cool. I don't find much ZZ Top, surprisingly. Oh, well, Rockwell. It always feels like somebody's watching me. Bye Bye Birdie. This is nice. Doobie Brothers. Uh, these are like in such great condition. Really, really good. Oh man, that's nice. Linda Ronstadt. Olivia Newton-John. Fogheart Live. Oh man. Now there's some more aids at the bottom. <laughs> Santana, Foreigner, ah, AIDS, all right, yep. We didn't want to get AIDS. Get it? Yep, yep, yep. That's a terrible joke. Terrible joke, sometimes the dad jokes go wrong. Don't hate me. Okay, we got a little box here. Um, then I'll get down to these record, well, I'm assuming the record box is below. Let's see what this is for, oh, oh, what's this? This looks like a train item. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little more interesting. Well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I don't see a maker on it. That's older metal. Railway Agency Express. Mar Toys. Okay. This is neat. Okay, and then look at all this. Oh, look at this one. This one's powered. <laughs> that's cool. Alright, that's nice. Right there. There might be a little value there. I don't know. Let's hope. Let's hope. Okay, this looks like another printer. Look at the amount of dust on this, guys. Look at that. Whoa. So much dust. Yeah. Oh no, this is not a printer. This is a binding system. It says Scotch brand binding system. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I see it now. I can see clearly now the dirt is gone. I can see all the writing so clear to me. Uh, that'll go to the market. I don't, I don't think it's going to have value, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, at least try to keep it out of the landfill, right? Okay, 10 bucks is AIDS. Anybody want to take me on? Want to take that bet? AIDS record. If it is, I win 50 bucks. 10 bucks, sorry. <laughs> There's 50 records, all right? That's where I got the 50 from. Yeah, okay, you lost. Uh, I know you didn't take that bet. Never mind. Okay, guys, this is the last one. And yes, we got AIDS. <laughs> all right, so yeah, all those are AIDS. That's a different box. We'll open that in a second. That's it. All right, according to my math, which is sometimes wrong, but I don't think I can be that wrong, there's 14 boxes. They were all sealed. Each one has 50 records in it. That means that we've got 700 records, and we've already sold one for 50 bucks. They're all the same. So if we sell them all for 50 bucks each, that's $35,000. What? We have, we have $35,000 just in those one records? <laughs> I doubt they're all going to sell for that much, but you know what? I don't care if it takes me 10 years. I'm going to try to sell them all. Why not? They're rare. I think we may have the only ones available anywhere in the world. I've only listed them on Discog, so now we got to get them listed to eBay and maybe some other platforms too. 35 grand, guys. Oh, man, that would be sweet. That would be sweet. But I'm not counting my ch chickens before they hatch, right? Uh, that money is, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd be happy with 3500 quite frankly. All right, let's see what's in this one right here. All uh, right. Wow, 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 wow. 30 years of dust right there. 30 years of dust. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, more records. Please don't have AIDS. Please, no more AIDS. Ah, it's AIDS. Dang it. You know what's weird about this one? It's very light. I don't think this is records. These are just sleeves. They're just sleeves. There's no records in there. There's no vinyl. That's why it's so light. It's just cardboard, basically. And that does lend to my earlier guess that this guy was in the music industry. He was not a collector. Maybe he was a collector too, but he was actually in the industry. I think he was a producer or a publisher. Or... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I feel though. 
Let's get these things. Oh man, let's get these out of here. Yeah, I don't think that any of this is gonna sell. I really don't. But whatever, we'll try. Okay, right below it, here's what we got. This looks like uh, something like a canister would sit on top, like a garbage can or a shop vac or something would sit on top of that. And some plastic drop cloths. Whoa, got some gloves. My goodness, we got gloves. Foam jack, paintbrush, zip tie. A bunch of zip ties there. Wait, cable tie mounting pad. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, we'll bring those to the market. Ashtray to the market. And I saw right there, Craftsman. I guess I really don't have to take the stuff out of here. It could stay in here. Uh, we got some tools, got some chargers here for some sort of batteries. Yeah, boy, that's nice right here. I like that, that's nice. There are the batteries right there, probably dead. Some electrical stuff. That's cool. Okay, this right here. This has a little bit more tools in it. I think I already looked in here. I threw a couple things into here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sandpaper. Let's see what's in here. Oh man, look at that dust just rolling off of that. It's crazy. I love it though. I love these old lockers. What's this? This is way more interesting. Look at this, you guys. There's some kind of old toys here. This is this looks like it matches that train station. Wow. First Georgia Calvary. Little covered wagon. I think maybe that goes here. Interesting. What's this? Look at these old baseball bats. Little ones. This is really interesting. Okay, we got some trains. Oh my goodness. As if I don't have enough trains, right? Right. These are neat. I don't see the maker on it. Pick, pick, pick up sticks. Vintage toys here. Okay, I'm gonna start transferring this stuff to a different box. I wanna see what's underneath. Oh man, that's neat. That is really cool right there. This is probably some sort of a fort, right? You build a fort. Oh, look at this. Fort Cheyenne. Huh, that's gotta be old, guys. I think it's like from the 60s. Little railroad track. A couple more bats here. That is an old bat. There's, that's neat. It's cool stuff. Processed plastic company, Aurora, Illinois. That's made in the USA right here. That's funny. Is there a little driver for one of the, I don't know, wagons or cars or something? Okay, there's a Santa Fe car, box car. What is that for? Fill pipe for something. Another little train. Another train. A very nice hacksaw right there. Stanley USA. That's a nice one. That will sell at the market. We'll track. What is this? Let me get this stuff unwrapped and we'll see what we've got in these bags here. And uh, I'll update you in a second. Oh, actually, it's the first bag I pull out. Look at this. This is really cool. Um, wait, what are these? What are these? They're not what I thought they were. I thought they were like those things for a Viewmaster. It's not that. Learn about animals from each picture. I think this has cards or something in it. I can't tell. Almost like a baseball card pack, but I think it's still sealed. I don't think these have ever been opened. Wonders of the Animal Kingdom. Collect all 21 packets. Look at that, guys. Brand new old stock. Whoa, this is interesting. It says it's printed in Mexico. Definitely, this looks to be like 50s or 60s to me. Ooh, this is neat, guys. This uh, this is why we like these old lockers. They can have some really interesting stuff tucked away and forgotten about. Okay, <laughs> these bags are getting heavier. It's not plastic trains in here. There's some rocks here. Some granite. I don't think that's anything special. Some pyrite in that one. A little crystal there. Oh, mason jar. All right. Okay, that mason jar had another part to it, this right here. And what is this exactly? I'm not sure. Why do I think this might have something to do with electroplating? No? Am I wrong? I don't know. It's definitely seems something specific for this. Uh, and this must go with that metal piece right here. That's my assumption. These all go together somehow, some way. 
I don't know, guys. That looks old. Oh, it's on velvet. Paint by numbers. It's partially done. It's pretty cool. Paint on here. Look at this thing. Printed in the USA, but that, that looks old. Not a lot of value there, but it's still cool. An old checkerboard. Okay. Careers, huh? It's an old game right here. It's an old jigsaw puzzle. Oh, that's empty though. Oh, wow, look at this. This is definitely an old game right here. Merv Griffin's Word for Word game by Mattel. Stock number 5412. Hopefully we can get a comp on this. Get a little bit more information on it. Interesting. I don't think it's got all the parts though. It just seems like there should be more parts to it. There's only a few cards. There's pegs or something going here. It almost looks like cribbage. But still, a lot of the stuff's in here. That might have a little value. Not a lot, but it might have a little bit of value. What is this? Look at that. Hmm, another plastic car and it's made in the USA. It's Day Toys, D-A-Y, Toys, Inc. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, there's this old feather coming apart. I let that go. Oh, there's a bunch of old feathers in here. See that? Okay, these are disintegrating. Uh, I don't think we're going to keep those. I don't see what use you could have when the feathers are falling apart like that. Some old fabric, vintage fabric. Dragon dominoes, old dominoes. Yeah, that's cool. I had those when I was a kid. Oh, okay, wait. This might be worth something right here. Look at this. The Man from Uncle. All plastic assembly kit. Uh, this is a model? Oh, I hope it's not done. Ah, okay. Ooh, this is neat. Look at this. The Man from Uncle. Oh, dang, this is cool. 1966? Yes. Aurora Plastics Company. Is it complete? That's going to be a very good question. I don't know. Man. He pulled all the parts off. Um, wow, at least it's not put together or painted. That's a really neat find right there. Neat find indeed. Look at these eBay prices. 60 bucks, 150, 300, 300 for an assembled one, 66 for an assembled. But look at this, 227 and 230 for boxed, 195 assembled, 327 says brand new. And there's 178. Uh, looks like it's, you know, kind of like ours, sort of. So, very interesting. Let's click on one of these box ones and see what it looks like, what the listing actually looks like. Let's go in here. And these are sold prices too, right? This is not listed. This is sold. Uh, it's instructions like ours. Okay, only one shot of the parts. But, okay, we can see right here the parts are not popped off. The, the molds there, they're still on. So, this one's a little better than ours, but still. 227 on this one. Maybe we'll get 150. Okay, we'll put that aside. There's another old oil painting kit right here. Oh, the Beverly Hillbillies. Nice card game. 1963. <laughs> There's an old moist tablet. All right, there's Jethro. <laughs> and audio cassette. What? That's an old tape. I wonder if that goes to the game. Granny, Jed. This is cool. There's the instruction book right here. Neat stuff, guys. This is really cool stuff. This old tablet right here. Another one of these games here, the careers. Huh. Interesting. Beyond the Solar System, an old book. Alright guys, that was that was a really cool little box right there. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Okay, that's extremely heavy. What's going on here? This should not be that heavy. What's going on here? Ooh, come on. Gold bars? What? what? Oh. Ooh, I don't think so, but it's heavy. Okay, ridiculously heavy right here. There's some kind of really thick uh, chain links of some sort. Cool bags though. Taylor Chain Company, okay. H Hammond, Indiana, the bags are cool. Look at that, doesn't that look pretty? That looks like it could have been like coins, right? Or gold bars or something. That looks super interesting. Super interesting. Yeah, and there's some chain, okay. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Oh, there goes the chain. Put the bag in upside down for some reason. Okay, now let's get in here and see. Let's see what's in these boxes. You can see the rats have been in here. There's bird seed. There was bird seed in one of the taller boxes, the upper boxes. Rats were having a feast in there. Unfortunately. Oh, this looks really good. 
Okay, what? Oh, what? What is this? Hang on now. Hang on now. I saw this. I got excited and I saw this little, little... What do we got here? Uh oh. This is not a fake, guys. This is not a fake. This is not a fake. Okay, so how do I open this? <laughs> I admittedly I don't know that much about guns. Okay, what's the trick here? It's been a while since I had a revolver in my hands. There's a trick here. Hmm, this is a real friggin' gun right here. What we can see right here without pointing that in my face. We are not loaded. No, this opens somehow. There we go. There we go. Guys, this is a freaking gun right here. Woohoo! I found a little gun. Yeah, baby. KL Double Action 62 caliber centerfire. It's a little one. It's really small. That's freaking cool. Security police. I have not found a handgun in. Oh, this is for loading it, right? Wait, is it? I don't know. Stinking cool. Oh, that's a good find. All right, so actually this gun winds up being a pretty good little find. This is a Hopkins and Allen XL double action. This gun is produced from the mid 1800s up until only 1917, which means that whenever this one was produced, it's over 100 years old. How cool is that? It's 32 caliber. This is the type of gun that maybe your great grandfather would have carried as he was slipping down the street going to a speakeasy. Who knows, right? The stories it could possibly tell. Here's a copy of an original advertisement for it on sale for just $1.85. Pretty funny. Notice you can order one by mail and it's an extra 22 cents for postage. So here's a listing that says it was sold for $279. So I guess that gives us kind of an estimate for value. And this one looks like it was pitted. So condition's not great, but ours isn't perfect. But I'd say it's comparable, if not better. So looks like maybe we got $250 to $300 value range. Pretty good. Why do I like finding guns so much? I don't know. I just do. I just do. This is not a gun. It's too light, but let's see. Okay, I've got some wallets. It says cowhide right there, but that's for keys, right? Key wallet. Amity? Cowhide? This is brand new. It's a vintage wallet, brand new. Never used, I don't think. Super clean. I like it. Good. Uh, harmonica Magnus. Normally, I would put the harmonica to my mouth and play it for you guys, because I know you love it. I know it's one of your favorite things about this channel. Just kidding. But this one, you see the rats have dropped seed and who knows what else. Uh, bird seed. I'm not putting my mouth on that, so. Okay, we got some more tool here. Crescent Tool Company. Jamestown, New York. That's a nice tool. Made in the USA, baby. Seaway, Taiwan right there. Taiwan. Go in that box. Security police. I'll put that right there. Ooh, that's a pretty picture right there. I think I'm gonna take a picture, picture of that right there. I'm gonna send that to Gianna. Hang on a sec. Okay. Whoa, guys. Look at this one. This a uh, owner. Made in Germany. That... Why does that look so nice? Marine Band Tremolo. Why does that one look so nice? This is bigger. I don't know. It looks different than the other ones. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Rat funk or not. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> sounds nice. It sounds pretty nice. It's pretty. Pretty pretty. Ooh. Hang on. What we got here? Okay. Police. There we got a 10 star right there, right? Police badge. That's cool. Really cool. But what's this? Okay, security guard. Security guard. A couple of security guard things. Super cool. Super cool. There's an antenna for something. It's another really nice little harmonica. Another honer. Nice. I love harmonicas. Wait, okay, I forgot about this. This is heavy. And not interesting. <laughs> it's more chain. Hmm. Is there anything special about this chain? I don't think so. It's in this box with all good stuff. Oh, I see a knife in there now. Okay, that's all right, whatever. This is kind of cool right here. This, these sell uh, cassette players, recorders. Yeah, it's got a record button there. Panasonic. Uh, it's been a while since I found one and sold it. Model number RQ 2103. I'm uh, try to look that up. This could be, I don't know, 30 bucks, 50 bucks. Probably not too much more than 50 bucks. Man, this is a good little box. I'm loving it. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. 
what's this? Oh, dang. That's... What is this? Made in Italy. Okay, this looks... I mean, it feels real. Express 7, it says. But what's what's that right there? Why is it not empty? Is this a lighter or something? What is this? What is this? S F safety. Oh, I don't know, guys. What the heck is this? This does not appear to be a real gun, right? Because I don't know, actually. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to pull the trigger. You know, I don't know how to use this thing. Uh -uh. Let's leave that safety on. If that's what it is. Made in Italy, it does not feel like a toy. It could be. Just a really well-made toy, but it doesn't feel like it. Okay. There's a couple old knives right there. Nice. Okay. Security police. Security police. Couple more. Uh, right below, we're seeing lighters. Oh, look at this. Walt Disney World. That's a Zippo. Ooh. Ooh. That's an old little Zippo right there. Walt Disney World. I like it. There's another Zippo right here. Good stuff, guys. It's good stuff. This is an old level. Well, it looks old. I don't know if it's old. Pressure gauge. Okay. Nice. Nice little knife right here. This is definitely older, but I don't see a mark on it. It could be on it. It's just a little dirty. Hard to make it out. Here's another one. Here's a knife. Case. Okay, case is good. Yeah, made in, the, made in the USA. Very good brand for a knife. Ooh, that's sharp. Dang, he kept his knife sharp. Heck of sharp. Ooh, yeah, razor sharp. That's a nice knife right there. We had these recently and uh, sold them in a live auction. There's another case right there. I was actually surprised they didn't go for more. Case has a decent value to it. <sighs> Dang, he's sharpened the heck out of his knives. Dang, Holmes, that is sharp. Respect. Little tape measure. What's this? Um, that's for batteries. Oh, it's a flashlight. Okay, just no batteries in it. Taylor Chain Company. Oh, well, I think this guy maybe worked there. Patent applied for. Oh, what a neat little ID badge. I guess that's what it's for, right? It's employee number 210. That's pretty dope. What's this? Leather wrist strap. Is it, though? Let's find out. It says fits right. It better. It's called fist right. It better fit. Yeah, it's a vintage leather wrist strap. Pretty funny. Made in the USA. This thing might have some value. I don't know. We'll look it up. Let's we'll see if it's got any value. WM Rogers makes a lot of silver plate cutlery. Okay, that's that's what it looks like. It looks like silver plate. Um, but we'll make sure. It, de it definitely looks like silver plate to me. I don't think it's anything, but it's worth a looking up. That's what it is. It's worth a looking up. What else we got in here? Okay, this is one of the... I forget what this is called. I forget what it is. Picket number 120 is, is the markings on it. That's for like, I don't know, drafting or something. There's the old conductor's hat, it looks like, for a railroad. Who knows if that's real? It could be. An old whistle. Brass HWC whistle, made in Taiwan. Okay, and we got some bullets. Wouldn't want to get shot with that, you could get lead poisoning. <laughs> ah, just, I don't know, this just sounded like it'd be funny to say that. A couple more bullets. Alright guys, that was a stinking cool box, right? That was a cool box. Boom, boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Alright, I may have just asked, are you guys having fun yet? Did I ask that? I don't know. Uh, but I'm sure you are now. I am. Now I'm having a lot of fun. Okay. I'm not sure what that's for. Almost looks to me like uh, you mount that to the wall and you put a fire extinguisher on it. That's what it looks like to me. This is more stuff for the track lighting right here. This is cool. Some old scissors. That's, that stuff's cool. Let's see what this works. I want another box like that. That gun box. It could, there's a lot of boxes left. It could be more good stuff in there. This is a nice uh, little tray for paper or whatever. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Electronics. Oh, it's like a com competitor to the zip drives, right? That's what that looks like. Wow, that is, that's in beautiful condition. I'm actually not sure you ever used that. I think that might be brand new. 
Let's look this up and see if it's got some value. Spark 1.0 gigabytes from SideQuest. That's, that could have a little value. I don't know. Ugh, next box. Okay, what's this? Manage right. I think that's going to be a little outdated. It's for Windows. 1995 edition. I don't think those are collectible either. All over the place. Dave Rudolph. Some cabling. Video Toaster 4000. I think Video Toaster was a piece of hardware. Dave Rudolph. It's an old calculator right there. Leather purse or something. No, it's not leather, it's vinyl. Yeah, right. Flea market. Oh, look at this. It's a pipe just sitting in there. I don't see any markings on it, but some of these old pipes could have some value. This one, I don't see any markings on it though. What's this? That's a hole punch. How cool. That's old. A couple of rocks here. Alright, this looks like mostly office stuff. Let me pull it all out. If I see something interesting, I'll put it aside. And I'll let you know. Okay, guys, here's what we got. Here's what we got out of that box. Now, this looks like a checkbook box, but it's not checkbooks. It's got some jingle jingle. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, chicken bone. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yes, what's this? Newspaper LJHS. Sometimes these little pins right here are gold. Not this one. Not gold. Kind of neat though. Guaranteed to obey? What? In the beginning. This is 1973. This is the Daughters of Eve. 1972. That's kind of different. It's definitely some older stuff here. 1973. Teamsters button. That's neat. Old candle. <laughs> Here's a ring. Oh my goodness, made out of a shell and a aluminum can topper. Somebody asks you to get married and that's what they're going to put on your ring, on your finger? You say, uh-uh, I didn't think though. <laughs> Audio Visual Club. It's funny. St. Catherine Hospital. It's a token. And Indiana JC's it 1970 to 71. I don't know what that is, but leave all that stuff right back in there. I found this little Chanel tester cologne. Half full, it's probably maybe less than half, but whatever. It's probably too old, but I found it. There's an old key. Some old keys here for Chrysler's. I just, I always keep the keys. This is way neater. It's a vintage Reebok uh, keychain. This right here, I th I think, what was that for? I don't know what that's for. <laughs> I don't, there's a purpose for it, I'm sure. Maybe to put uh, paper on there or something? I don't know. It's just different. What's this? Connie Ray Chatham. Department of Police, City of Hammond. That's kind of neat. I don't think that's any personal information there that I'm giving up. I hope not. Okay, now. Okay, wait. Got these. I, again, I don't know what this is. They look a little bit more expensive. I think made for drafting or something. Don't know. Don't know. But this. Got a couple jewelry boxes here. I have not looked in this, guys, okay? Let's do it together. Oh, Christian Dior. Tie clip. That's cool. It's not... not precious metal or anything it's not gold right i don't think christian dior made gold tie clips i'd love to be wrong on that got some bird seed on this one but this is a something shaking around in there guys this is not empty let's see oh whoa look at this push the button this is so fancy okay what got, what got here? A fancy box you might have some gold but nah is that gold? I don't think so. It's got some markings on it, but I don't think that's gold. I don't think that's gold. I don't know. It doesn't look like the right color either. I don't know what that says, but that does not look like it says gold. It doesn't look like it to me. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, yeah, it felt like paperwork. It said contacts, and that's what it appears to be. It's a bunch of paperwork. All right, I'll go through it anyway just to make sure, but yeah, I'm not going to film that. Okay, guys, we're through all the boxes in the front here. Uh, we already went through this last time. 
We went through all this last time, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, we got these. Let's not forget about those. Let's get this down right here. Christmas tree box. Feels like a Christmas tree. Let's make sure. Yup. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That I'll actually sell at the market. That's a vintage piece, actually. Really nice condition. Actually, that is kind of nice. I don't know if there's value on that, but that is excellent condition. Vintage. That's actually kind of cool. Not not like tremendously cool, but it's a little bit cool. Ooh, wait. Did we see this? I don't think we saw this. This is a brand new CB. We did not see this, right? Seems like Jen and I found a CB already. It's been a, cu a couple weeks, guys, actually, since I've been here. Uh, that, if, that's why I'm a little foggy. To the folks, Merry Christmas. Oh, dang, this is brand new. Oh, ho, ho. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Brand new. Vintage CB. Midland International Model 13-830. That is beautiful, guys. Beautiful. I think we're gonna have some value in here. I would be willing to bet this is gonna be worth some money. I'm thinking at least a hundred bucks. I, I don't know this brand in particular. I just think it could be a hundred bucks. That is a good find. Super good, super good. Brand new, so you don't have to worry about testing it. Uh, that's right, we got a little bit more. <laughs> it's just flea market stuff. Scale, vacuum. Uh, there's some wire. That's another good flea market. Coax cable here. We'll put the cable over there. Oh. Mm, net right there it looks like a volleyball net or a badminton or something. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit light right here. A little bit light. It's super cool looking though. And that has got an awesome look to it. Very cool. Oh, there's a silver fish running around the inside there. Okay. Yep, empty but nice uh, steamer trunk here. Is that called a steamer trunk? I don't know. It's a trunk the trunk i'm gonna bring this to the better market it's just got a cool look to it north american looks like they had a move at some point it's professionally moved ah this one's light too ah, ah, ah. i think it's gonna be empty all right let's get this out now this thing is heavy like really heavy a spider's nest in here yucca well that's why it's heavy look at it's got a huge sledgehammer in here that's cool Oh wow, look at this. This is an old level. Really old level right there. That's neat. That's an antique, I think. And this guy. Dang. That's some serious business right there. And then right here we got more track lighting stuff. And this is what I was talking about. You got the copper right there, which we're gonna pull out. I think you get the plastic out. This I believe is a aluminum. So we can get some money for aluminum. We definitely get some money for all this copper right here. Okay. I was kind of curious about this right here. I'm less curious now. I'm sorry I opened that actually. I'm really regretting that. Okay, this we saw before. This little croquet set looks vintage. It was awesome, really. The little cart, pfft, awesome. Okay, but let's see. I was hoping to find something good back here. This ain't it. All right, guys, I'm back. Back, back, back. I got a lot of this stuff out. Yeah, so I have a feeling this is all going to be like this kind of stuff like business records and stuff. Hopefully these are a little better right there. Because otherwise we're almost done with this one. I think this is empty. We're going to confirm that. And uh, there's, one, there's a couple boxes right there. But yeah, we're getting down to the end of this thing here. We still got to figure out what this piano is. I don't see any marks, but it's probably in there. <laughs> that sounded ominous. Okay, let's see what this is. Looks like another one of those red bags. Yeah, it's another one of those chain bags. These bags are actually pretty cool. It's like a pitchfork. Cast iron stuff, it's nice. What's this? Okay, it's a grease gun. Right? Yeah, that's cool. We'll bring this stuff to the Stockton market, I think. That's kind of heavy right here. Yeah, let's see what we got. Ah, more track lighting. Yeah, a whole bunch of track lighting stuff. Actually, this is stinking cool, aren't they? I wonder if there's money in that. Hmm, that's neat. 
Chicago Bears Coca-Cola ball. That's kind of neat. Old toy. Old track lighting. Oh, man. I have a feeling this one's books. This is heavy. <laughs> it's books. Dang it. That's the Apple book here. I mean, Apple software book. Res Edit. Xanadu? Build a foam house. Whoa. That's kind of neat. Be nice if you had some comic books, but this kind of books. Millionaire Next Door is a great book. Typewriter Technique. Bible on VHS. Hmm. Yeah. This one's lighter. <laughs> yep. Yeah, not good. Not good. Not good. Okay, there's a bunch of newspapers. See that? They're all the same. What's special about this day? Marcos wins the election. Philippines. Maybe he was in this paper or something. That's the only reason I could think to get that many copies of the paper. There's the leg for the piano here. So beautiful, right? It's another track lighting. There's a couple more of the legs over here. Okay, let's see that. Anything in here? Hmm. What's the trick with this? There's nothing in there. It's a nice antique piece though. Paper towels. <laughs> I'm not sure why the catch is so stubborn. Wow, look at the bottom of this piano here. That's this old piano. Oh, there we go. SD, SD right there. Okay. There's a ebony um, bar missing there. An ebony key. Check out these beautiful mirrors right here. These are some old, old mirrors. And they look to be in good shape. Obviously, they're dusty and cobwebby. Can't tell for sure, but they look pretty good. All those boxes here, all are records and books. And the same over here. Records and books. And records meaning files, not vinyls. Definitely need to clear that up. I'm talking about these kinds of records right here. Files, all right? Records and books, all right? But at the very bottom, very bottom, last box. I already opened it to this level here. Okay, well, maybe to this level here. And I said, okay, this looks a little bit... What? Wait, wait, wait. What? I didn't see that. It's Fred Bass, Perverted Paradise. X-rated for adult listening only. What the heck? I've got the runs for you, baby. What? This is from 1990. That could have some value. I, I don't think so, but it's old. It's brand new, so it could. Who knows? Donkey party. <laughs> 29 cents oh my goodness oh there's an old letter and there's the donkey uh thing pin the tail on the donkey how cool is that there's there's some vintage pieces there so that's kind of neat okay it's paper uh protector whatever so you know what i mean you know what it is i'm getting a little tired now guys and i'm gonna sneeze it's really dusty in there oh yeah this is looking this is looking kind of interesting i gotta be honest with you look at this leather that is some kind of custom belt or something, and that's a little funky. And I mean funky good. Funky good. The utility belt there, that's kind of neat. Might be military. Yeah, what do we got here? Uh, Nick, it's office supplies. No, nope. not all office supplies. What's this? Gene, oh, Gene loves Jezebel. Heavenly bodies. All right, that's cool. I used to listen to those guys back in the day. Back in the day. What's this? Camelot music. Oh, that's cool. There's a throwback. Brand new sealed? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Cajun Spice. Right. Okay. Not that good. <laughs> Ooh, check this out. Yeah. Made in the USA out of hickory. Max Sticks. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, then we got shoebox. Shoebox, and we love shoeboxes, right? Eh. <laughs> Usually we do. There's a bunch of Q-tips. What? Something's been melted and nasty in up this box. And some VHS right here. What's on that? Don't know. Could be blank. Television show for business. None of that's sounding very good. Shoe polish. Not interesting. What's this? Oh, it's a fragrance or something? You know what? It actually smells good still. 
How funny. It must be, I don't know, body lotion or something? I don't know. I don't know. What's this? What's this? Ooh, cross. Oh, bomber. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Hey, have no fear. There's another box to look in. This is definitely a vintage box. Is that good? I don't know. Now I'm saying no. I don't think so. Well, what is this? Meals and minutes. It's an old appliance here, a vintage appliance. What is this? Oh, it's called a meals and minutes. What? Um. This to me looks more like a like a old vacuum sealer for bags, you know? Uh, kind of interesting because it's old. It's still in the box and everything. Valuable? I don't think so. Food packaging appliance, yes. Okay. There's no bags in there, so I have to find some bags to use with it. That's kind of cool. I mean, I, it's not that cool. I'll be honest with you. It's not that cool. There's definitely better things out on the market today. But I'll look it up. We'll look it up, right? What's this? This is heavy. Magnetic tape. Ooh. What is this? Dang. That's a real deal right here. Right? That is a real deal right there. I don't know if that has anything on it. That's pretty cool. Victory Travelers. 1982. So this guy's in the music business. I wonder if this is like a music reel or something. That, that is kind of interesting. Right. And then here. Hey. Nothing else interesting really. Okay. Okay guys. We do have a couple more things here. I guess we haven't gone through this yet. So this is neat. Valuable? I don't think so. I just think it's cool. Eight tracks. I find them from time to time. I just think it's cool. I mean, I, I never owned a car that had an eight track in it, but when I was little, little, I think our parents' cars had them. I just don't even remember. Sticks. Oh, it's got the case. Wait, no it doesn't. Well, it could be a generic case. Jethro Tool. That's got the case. The case might be collectible. These are kind of neat. Uh, they've probably been baking in here, but they were in the back of the unit, so maybe they're a little bit more protected. What else we got in here? Okay, another, it's another leg. It's kind of a neat old blanket right there. Yeah, it really is. It really is. It's a neat one. I don't know why I get impressed by the weird stuff. Rat poop shaking off of it. Is that worth salvaging right there? You know, I don't know. I'm going to take it to the market and let them decide. We'll see. But we got one more bin. I don't think Jan and I went through this. Oh, it's heavy. Okay. This is good already. We got some vinyls. We did not look in this. The thief who was saved while dying. Reverend Louis, Louis Montgomery. Okay, there's another. He's a god. The Victory Travelers. The Victory Travelers. I think we had the cassettes. Those sealed cassettes we found before. I think were them. Uh, got more business stuff in here now. Got born real quick up in here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Not interesting. Kind of a neat uh, case. Whoa, we got someone's social security card right there. <laughs> Definitely want to not show that on camera. Ooh. What do we got here? Wells Fargo. That's a check for 500 bucks. What? Yeah, 500 bucks for him. Very nice. Hey, what's this? Oh, look at that. Gaff personal camera. That's super cool. That yeah, looks brand new, too. Hmm. Neat. I don't know. It's cool, though. Let's put that in our keeper box right there. 1988 on the calendar here. Wow. Uh, dual phone? Tele telephone recording? I don't think that's anything. And then all of a sudden, I'm losing hope here. That's a nice stapler right there. I don't mean to impre be impressed with that kind of stuff, but that is that really is a nice stapler. I ain't gonna lie. We're hunting for something good. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's, that's kind of cool. I th what is this, a, a puzzle? How to get the ring off or something? Uh, what is that? I don't know. It's, it's neat. Whatever it is. Yeah, the Victory Travelers. There's uh, one of them. We got a bunch of sealed ones already. Lori Jones, I don't know who that is. Good. That's about it. I think that's gonna do it. I'm getting really the sniffles right now because this dust is just aggravating my nose. It's a dusty one for sure. I mean, sitting since 1993, this is about as dusty as we come across really. But I still gotta tackle this piano. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I don't have a plan. 
This is actually extremely heavy because this grinding stone. Oh, let me show you this. I moved it, and when I did, I was like, oh, let me try this. So get it going a little bit and then pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Yeah, all right. Get your little axe on there. Grind, grind away. I'm not sure what this is for. I'm thinking like hanging a lantern or something. So you can see what you're doing. So I imagine you're going to be uh, grinding or sharpening your blades at night after the work in the fields are done. Okay, I'm just imagining stuff now, but uh, kind of a neat piece. Definitely. It's a little bit rickety and it's extremely heavy. This, this stone or whatever that is, it is extremely heavy. So no joke, this thing is not easy to move. But I, I gotta move it, obviously. I gotta get all this stuff out. That, I believe, is empty. We'll update you if it's not. Don't hold your breath. I'm not holding mine. The piano. So I took a few photos of the piano. I think I'm just gonna list it, like, for free. And then maybe when I come tomorrow, I'll take that off, try to get better photos of it. But maybe we could sell it like that? I don't think so. Unless this is a really expensive brand of piano. Someone might come and get it. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Ugh. It's really hard to move. I don't have a lot of help, if you guys can't tell. I might have to help uh, hire one of these youngsters come over and help me move that thing. If I move it, what do I mean exactly? I don't know, because if it's too wide for this, it's going to be pain in the butt. I might actually have to go to U-Haul and get a flatbed trailer, so I don't have to lift it too high. But just getting that thing, just, these are heavy. Oh, <laughs> heavy. Last time I found a piano, it was a box grand. A box grand is like a grand piano in the shape of a rectangle, like a box, like a, kind of like a coffin, but fatter. That, that, and that one, I just, I hired a moving, uh, a junk hauling company. They charged me 200 bucks, but that was a long time ago. That was in the third time locker, if you remember that one. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm dying here. <clears throat> I know the comments are already going to say, you should be wearing a mask in there. No, I'm not wearing a mask, okay? We had enough of that back in 2020. I'm not wearing a mask. This, uh, I might have to just hire a junk hauler to take that away. I don't know if I could do it, but I don't think it's going to be 200 bucks because of inflation. It's probably going to be like three or 400 bucks. But at least the unit cost me a dollar. I hate to do that, but yeah, at least the unit cost me a dollar. All right, well, anyways, guys, we're going to wrap this up because we're pretty much done. I'm going to come back tomorrow and finish it. I don't think there'll be any film. It's not exciting. And uh, we'll be back soon. Another person just drove by and looks at me like I'm crazy because I am a little bit. I just need to tell them I'm not crazy. I'm locker nuts. All right, guys, Till next time, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Oh, a couple more things, guys. This little U-Haul cardboard right there was back there leaning against the piano. And uh, check this out. We've got a vintage, possibly antique washboard right there. Oh, that's nice. It's a little moldy or something. I don't know. It's got a little fungus on it, I think. But that side, at least you can read it out there. National Washboard Company from Chicago. This one's kind of gone. That's a neat, neat piece of steel, but look at this. Art, photos, and transparencies for the jacket and label for Lifeblood. What? Could this be one of his uh, music projects? Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, more AIDS albums. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, man. Two more. All right. Hey, and by the way, I went back and ch double counted those album uh, boxes. We actually have 20 boxes. Uh, what I say earlier, 14 boxes. We actually have 20 boxes. So times 50, it's a thousand records. <laughs> so it's fifty thousand dollars potentially if they're fifty dollars each. But anyways, the Victory Traveler. So that he must have produced these guys or something. Look at this, guys. This is kind of neat. Now I don't know who these guys are or if they were popular at all. I wanted to look up those cassettes and see if I should put those on eBay. I uh, still will do that. I just haven't done it as a filming. But um, this is neat. So when I got into graphic design, this is uh, Overlay, right? If, I mean, we're going back a long time now. But when I first got in, they were just moving away from this type of uh, artwork, basically, graphic design, and going to electronic. But still, in school, they taught me this, and I never needed it. I was right at that, right at that cusp where everything moved to electronic, and it went very quickly to digital. This is, what was this called? Paste up board? I forget what the word is. Again, it's been a long time. 1983 right here. But this is how they would do it. They'd print these out and actually cut them out and glue them on. They would get all this out and then they would take a picture, a photograph of this and use that for printing. So how cool, right? So this right here is the Pantone colors. Process blue and black. Pretty easy, easy colors. And uh, this is to tell the printer which are in blue, which are in black. See that? 
so that when they'd make the film, they take the photo, they would then go and like cut out those portions and make two different plates. Pretty stinking cool. It's definitely a throwback. 1983, I was getting into uh, graphic design in the mid 90s, so super cool. So it says position only. That's That means that they're not going to be using this photo here. They would actually, I think, cut the actual photo, the actual film negative of that photo and paste it in there so they get the highest quality. But anyways, guys, it's probably pretty boring, but a little bit of uh, graphic design history. I don't think there's any value here on these, unless these guys are somebody famous, and I don't think they are. But hey, if these are 50 bucks each, those are 100 bucks. I just don't think I'm going to get 50 bucks for a thousand records, but yeah, here's the dreaming, right? It's locker time. I bought this unit right here. It's a 10 by 25 for just a buck. I love my dollar lockers. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're... Let's take a look. Okay, there you go. There you go. Oh yeah, it's not so bad. All right, I remember it being worse actually. 